You're watching WBZ TV Boston. Coming up next on WBZ News 4. Sold. Tonight, the Patriots have a new owner. The New England Patriots are staying right here in Massachusetts. As News 4 was the first to report today, the Pats will be sold to Bob Kraft, the owner of Foxborough Stadium. The gentleman I'm about to introduce stepped up at a critical time. He understands what a football team means to this community, who after league approval will become the next owner of the New England Patriots, Robert Kraft. Some people think it's pretty silly to spend so much money just for a game. But for those of you who aren't fans, let me tell you that this game holds the attention of this community and communities throughout this country from August to January in a way that's hard to explain if you're not into it. And it really impacts the psyche and the fabric of the community. And this is my hometown, and, and I just believe this hometown wouldn't have been the same if this team had left here. I thought back to when I was a young man collecting for the Jimmy Fund in front of Bray's Field. It was either the Warren Spawn Diner or Hayes Bickford. I, I don't remember at the time. And then shortly after that, the Braves left here, and a part of me died at that time. I, I, I like John Harrington. He wasn't involved, and I like the Red Sox, but the Braves were my team. And I, to this day, I regret that they left here. And I realized that this was a unique opportunity that I had, and it really required me to stretch beyond um, where I ever dreamt I would have to, to try to secure this asset. But I, it allowed me to fulfill a dream, and in a way, I hope, serve part of the best interests of the community. Mr. Kraft came through with what I thought was a very fair uh, offer, and uh, I think that was the cleanest, least complicated uh, way to proceed. If it wasn't Bob Kraft, is it safe to say that St. Louis was a real possibility? There are a lot of possibilities out of uh, state. I'm not going to be the most popular man in the world there for a while. We can sell you some season tickets here. You can move here. Uh, the real equities uh, uh, holders of this team, I hope, will be the fans and the corporate community. We're going to need your support and I hope we earn it. My objective in doing this is to help bring a championship to New England. We didn't do this to be a doormat for any of the teams. We do like to win. We think everything is in place to make that happen. To listen to the people calling in, um, and I don't want to swell his head, that he was the savior and he had, you know, he saved New England and everything else, I, I really sense what it does mean um, to the area, to, to fans. And um, so I, I'm very proud. I'm proud that he had the patience um, to hang in there and the whole team to hang in there because it's been without sleep, I think, virtually for a month and a half. We don't like to usually pay top dollar for assets when we buy them. We try to buy things so that we can justify uh, a short-term economic return but it has a strategic we vision long term. This does have a long term economic this return, has haven't you? I, I believe the so. Commitment, I hope so. The, <laughs> commitment, the commitments I made was that I believe that if we do the right things and manage it right, we get the support from the fans and the corporate community, that this will be a wonderful asset for the whole community and our family long term. But we have five hard years of work ahead of us, and I hope this community views it as a partnership. But I think it can be great. And um, I hope we can bring a championship here.